plastic surgery, emotional breakups, and devastating loss have a way of changing you over the years. Here's how Naomi Olindo has transformed before our eyes and what she's up to now. Naomi Olindo is originally from Nice, France. Her formative years were spent there, but her parents had a penchant for traveling and had heard good things about Charleston, South Carolina from an uncle who once lived in the city. So Olindo's family visited, fell in love, and began making preparations to move. The nine-month process was made easier by the fact that they had green cards. And while a lot of kids struggle with having their lives uprooted, Olindo had no trouble with it. She shared in a conversation with Mestiza, I have been in love with Charleston ever since and attended grade school through graduate school here. I love the low country, being outside, traveling, spending time with friends and family, and helping animals. When Craig Conover and Naomi Olindo first met, she was in her freshman year while he was winding up his stint at the College of Charleston. According to a conversation Conover had with The Daily Dish, it was love at first sight when they crossed paths for him. There was no doubt in his mind that Olindo was the girl for him, but she wouldn't so much as look his way. He told the publication, I remember the first time I saw her, she became everything in my head, but she wouldn't give me a chance. She would just look at me and look back at her phone and keep texting. I was like, oh my god. He felt that Olindo was being dismissive because she hadn't gotten to know him in depth, but really, Olindo was dating someone else. Unknown to Conover, at the time, Olindo actually thought her future beau was quite dashing. Despite the fact that Olindo didn't pay any attention to Conover in college, she was first to initiate the conversation that eventually started their relationship. The pair bonded at Charleston Fashion Week and went full throttle afterward, Conover explained to The Daily Dish. We had a blast together, and she got to see that I'm actually a nice person and not a douchebag. Of course, the couple's love life played out on television from the third season of Southern Charm onward. Things seemed pretty serious since they'd moved in with each other. Conover even went as far as giving Olindo a promise ring, but both were fully cognizant of how fast their relationship was reaching major milestones. Conover admitted in a 2016 chat with Bravo TV, Yes, it's been a fast-moving relationship, even though we don't foresee anything bad happening. We've only been together for a year, so why rush anything? The ring, he added, was an assurance of the fact that he had the intention of walking her down the aisle in the future. I've probably seen every romantic comedy there is, and like you always, I always hope to be able to be that guy one day. While she was still a postgraduate student at the College of Charleston, Olindo was introduced to I'm Me, an organization that offers care and support for orphaned children in Haiti. In 2016, she went on to raise $1,500 for the cause by running the New York Marathon alongside Conover. The couple crossed the finish line in a little over six hours. Conover and Olindo each documented the milestone on Instagram in since-deleted posts. Olindo went on to throw a cocktail party for the drive, which brought in an additional $4,000. Speaking to her alma mater's newsletter, she revealed how she didn't take it for granted that her friends showed up to offer their support, saying, I couldn't have anticipated the level of encouragement and interest they have shown. I'm me. It is truly amazing. By 2017, Naomi Olindo and Craig Conover were still a couple. The pair lived together and took Entertainment Tonight on a tour of their living space, featuring two bedrooms, a bedroom-turned-shared closet, a sewing space for Conover, and a garage that served as a workshop for a separate home that was under renovation. However, Olindo and Conover progressively had differences that required the intervention of a therapist during season four of Southern Charm, and they would quietly fizzle out of each other's social media handles. It took the effort of an inquisitive fan for Olindo to address the elephant in the room. In the comments section of a September 2017 Instagram post, the fan asked whether Olindo and Conover were still an item. Olindo replied, "'Unfortunately, we are not, but we are still great friends.'" In his 2022 memoir, Pillow Talk, What's Wrong With My Sewing?, Conover explained the circumstances that led to their split. They were gearing up to move into their new home when an argument over a prospective tenant ensued. In the heat of the moment, Olindo apparently dropped the bombshell. She wasn't in love anymore. Although she tried to salvage the situation, he knew they were done. Speaking with The Daily Dish, Conover blamed the eventual breakup on the lack of compatibility. Olindo similarly said, at the end of it, we were just two very different people that couldn't get along. It was sad because we did care about each other." In a since-deleted February 2018 Instagram selfie, fans observed that Naomi Olindo's facial appearance was slightly different. The Southern Charm star took to the comments section to reveal that she'd had a rhinoplasty, something she'd wanted to do for quite a while. How long have you wanted a nose job? Since I was eight. 
Alindo has no regrets and says that there's no reason to tiptoe around the idea of plastic surgery. She also says people ought to make adjustments to features they don't like about themselves if they want to and have the means to. In an interview with her plastic surgeon, Dr. Joshua Zim, Olindo offered some advice to anyone thinking of having a rhinoplasty and explained that it doesn't have to be a rushed choice. I would definitely say take your time in making the actual decision because it is a big change. Olindo first stirred rumors of dating anesthesiologist Matul Shah in a since-deleted April 2018 Instagram post. Slightly over a year after she teased her new man, Olindo was ready to officially introduce him to her Southern Charm audience. The pair made their debut on the show's sixth season with a joint workout session. While getting Shaw to join his reality TV star girlfriend on Southern Charm took some persuasion, Olindo said that he agreed to do it because it was what she wanted. It also turned out that Shaw's appetite for self-improvement was what Olindo fancied the most. She revealed, He makes me want to do better. He's really helped me see I don't need to go out all the time and people also shouldn't be pressuring you to do it. I definitely go out less and am home a lot more, but I'm so much happier that way. Well, the dude's body didn't hurt either. I saw him out and was like, he is hot. I want to date him. In December 2019, Olindo took to Instagram to announce the death of her father, Joel Olindo. She wrote in part, After privately fighting esophageal cancer for 12 excruciating months, my dad lost the only fight he's ever lost. He died peacefully surrounded by people that loved him more than words can explain. Olindo went on to express that she wasn't sure what lay ahead, but in an empathetic tone, she sent a message of hope to members of her social media audience who were dealing with or affected by a loved one's cancer diagnosis. The Southern Charm star further showed appreciation to her close circle for being supportive to her family during the grieving process and called on those whose lives had been touched by her father to attend his wake. In a chat with the Skinny Confidential, she revealed that through her grief, she developed an irregular eating pattern. It was hard for me to eat at first, and then I was overeating because I was eating my feelings. She also revealed that she would periodically misuse Adderall to help balance her eating during that time. In May 2021, Olindo and Matul Shah had taken things to a new level and were moving to New York after dating for three years. According to Olindo's Instagram stories at the time, the pair were eyeing a one-bedroom in Lower Manhattan, but the couple had barely settled in when Olindo apparently found some explicit texts between Shah and his ex-girlfriend. They split up, and Olindo returned to her hometown. In another Instagram stories post made that July, Olindo said, Nothing will be worse than losing my dad, but this is a close second. Betrayal is never easy for anyone, and I'm just so sorry to anyone else who has stumbled across those terrible messages. She later told several outlets that she made a clean break from the relationship. When's the last time you spoke with your ex, Matul? Uh, when we broke up. Uh, well, wow. Yeah, no contact. The reality TV star had also announced that she was leaving Southern Charm prior to the couple's relocation, but ultimately decided to make a Bravo return after the breakup. Luckily for her, the cast and crew received her back with open arms, Olindo told Us Weekly. I'm so glad that I did it and that everyone was so welcoming for the most part and we just had a lot of fun. In an August 2022 episode of Southern Charm, fans got the long-anticipated dog wedding. Shep's French Bulldog and Patricia's Pomeranian walked down the aisle. While you'd think that nothing could go wrong at something as pure as a dog wedding, pots were stirred nonetheless. Perhaps the most scandalous event of the evening happened off-camera. Olindo dropped a bombshell afterward in the following episode. She'd spent a night with show creator Whitney Sudler-Smith. Speaking of the dog wedding, I didn't tell you, but right after I did kiss Whitney… <laughs> Olindo went on to reveal that he'd also spent the night at her place. <laughs> of course, Olindo's ex-boyfriend Craig didn't take the news of the duo's budding relationship kindly. During an appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, he revealed that he was startled but admitted that he'd had a hunch that something was brewing between the pair. He didn't have to be fired up for long, though, since the season's reunion that October came with the revelation that Olindo and Sudler Smith's romance had come to an end. In September 2023, season 9 of Southern Charm hit the screens. While Naomi Olindo's former co-star Catherine had confirmed her departure to Page Six that January, Olindo hadn't made an official statement. However, early reports prior to the season premiere indicated that she was also exiting the popular series. 
Since the premiere, Olindo has continued to remain mum on the matter. However, she's been active on social media while smiling her way to the bank through various partnerships as an influencer. In a November 2023 Instagram post, for example, Olindo put up a sponsored post for a beauty product called Revive Light Therapy that garnered over 6,000 likes. A week later, Olindo partnered with the jewelry brand Ring Concierge, creating a giveaway for a diamond tennis bracelet. Fans and media outlets alike have attempted to come up with reasons behind why Olindo left the show, but so far, all they are is guesses. Maybe one day Olindo will clear the air for us all.